Five years ago, when we last reported on the vaccine war, public health officials were struggling. It was a challenge to explain the importance of herd immunity. But now the political landscape has changed because of the rapidly unfolding measles outbreaks like the one that started at Disneyland in California. The outbreak there, public health officials say, is a sign of poor herd immunity caused by parents using the personal belief exemption to opt out of the mandatory vaccine schedule required for attending public schools. There are essentially two types of non-medical exemptions in this country, religious exemptions and personal belief exemptions. The way those two types of exemptions are administered around the country vary widely. In some places, you essentially just need to say, it is my personal belief that I should not vaccinate my child and sign a piece of paper and that's that. Reed Elementary School in Marin County has traditionally made it easy to obtain such exemptions. But now some parents have pushed back, saying that such policies put certain kids at risk. This is seven-year-old Rhett Crowett. He's lived with leukemia for most of his young life. He has endured multiple medical procedures and over 50 surgeries. 90% of such cases are eventually fully cured, but the treatment wipes out the immune system, making vaccinations impossible. Okay, you ready to go, Rhett? I'm very ready. When he was first diagnosed, he was pretty much pulled out of society. Um, we avoided highly concentrated groups of people. When we went out, we wore a mask. I mean, we really did limit his exposure. And we just were so excited for the day when he could start kindergarten so he could have that sense of socialization and community and learning. A year into remission and back in school, Rhett will soon be healthy enough to be fully vaccinated. But until then, his life depends on herd immunity. And Marin's high rate of non-medical exemptions therefore puts kids like Rhett at risk. We'll also have talked to our volunteers. That's what this school board meeting is all about. So at this point in the meeting, what we're going to do is turn it over to public comment. Rhett's family has come to argue that Reed Elementary should bar unvaccinated kids who don't have legitimate medical exemptions. The story isn't about Rhett anymore. It's about the hundreds of kids currently with suppressed immune systems that rely on the science of herd immunity. Please eliminate the personal belief exemption as a condition of attendance at Reed. My name is Rhett Crowett. Leukemia is cancer in my blood. Rhett has become a poster child for the pro-vaccine camp, which is now on the offensive with California politicians considering new legislation to repeal personal belief exemptions. My name is uh, Dr. Richard Pan. I'm the state senator representing uh, District 6 in Sacramento, and I really have made extraordinary efforts to be sure that uh, our children are safe. And there are similar plans in other states. What do you want the board to do? To make sure everybody gets vaccinated. Have you talked to your pediatrician? But vaccine watchdogs like Barbara Lowe Fisher oppose such legislative attempts to limit parental choice, turning again to the internet. The battle lines are clearly drawn. Now Americans have a choice to make. Will we stand up and fight to protect our freedom, to make voluntary decisions about which vaccines we buy and use, or will we permit liability-free drug companies and government health officials to take that freedom from us?